Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on another ludicrous speed video this afternoon. Today I wanted to talk about the basics of charging your Tesla. Let's get straight into it. There's two types of charging. There's AC and DC. With DC charging, there is essentially two types. There's the supercharger, and there's also Chargello. Char Superchargers are run by Tesla and look something like this. This little guy here, obviously a little bit bigger than that, but that's what they look like. And they can charge at 120 kilowatts. These char demo ones are 50 kilowatts. The superchargers come with a charger which can plug straight into your car. These guys here you will need to buy an adapter from somewhere like evnomics.com.au which costs about $700. Why would you buy an adapter for a char demo charger? Not everywhere in Australia currently has a Tesla supercharger. Places like Northern Queensland or Western Australia don't have superchargers yet, so that's where they might come in handy. How fast is 120 kilowatts? Well, this is how I generally see, um, how I could generally convert kilowatts to speed. So the average driver will drive, will require one kilowatt to move five kilometers an hour. So that's the basic formula if you're an average driver. So at 120 kilowatts, multiply that by five, you're going to get 600 kilometers an hour. Now I personally have never seen it charge that quick. It's normally more like 300 to 400 if you're lucky. If you keep it between 20% and 80%, if you charge beyond 80%, it slows down dramatically. So for the health of your car, keep it between 20 and 80%. That's what Tesla recommends as well. For 50 kilowatts, I guess theoretically you can get up to 250 kilometers an hour. Although real, realistically, it's probably not that quick. So that's DC. You can't get these DC chargers at home. Generally speaking, if you charge at home or at a destination charger, you will need an AC charger because we run on AC um, in residential places. So essentially, each car will have an, an, a charger or an inverter, essentially, because the battery in the car is DC. An inverter will convert the AC current to DC. Let's go through the different types of DC uh, AC chargers. So the Tesla onboard charger in a new Tesla Model S or X will essentially have a charging capacity of 16 kilowatts. What does that mean? Using my formula to multiply that by five. So the maximum your car can charge from a destination charger is 82 kilometers an hour. So what are your charging options? Well, Every Tesla comes with a mobile charging um, kit. So this is essentially a wall plug. It will plug straight into any power socket in your home. This will run at 10 amps. So if you have 10 amps of current and your house is 240 volts, the maximum you'll get is 2,400 watts or 2.4 kilowatts. Multiply that by five. Essentially, you'll be charging at 10 kilometers an hour. You can't get any faster than that with that wall plug. Not very fast. If you have a uh, the base model of a 75 uh, kilowatt hour battery, multiply that by five. Your range is about 375 kilometers. That's your battery capacity. If you're charging at 10 kilometers an hour, that's going to take you 37 hours. That's a day and a half. So not the best option if you're charging and you drive a lot. What are your other options? Well, that's the universal mobile connector. Every car is equipped with one. Every time you buy a Model S, you also get a, a wall connector, which I'll show you. So this little guy here is a wall connector. There's two types of those so back here. So there's two types of wall connectors. There's the single phase guys, and then there's the three phase. If you have a single phase, the maximum amps you will get is 40 amps. And if your home is single phase or triple phase, it doesn't matter, because your maximum you'll get is 40 amps, and the maximum voltage you get is 240 volts. 
multiply that out, it's 96,000 watts or 9.6 kilowatts. That equates to times 5, 40, um, 45 kilometers an hour. So that's about as fast as you can charge if you have this configuration. If you're a single phase charger, even if your home is three phase, that charger will only get you 45 kilometers an hour. As you can see, it's a bit short of the maximum 82 kilometers an hour this car can produce or can charge. If you have a three phase charger, now the benefit of three phase is that even though the current was smaller, so they're only rated at 32 amps for these three phase chargers, because there's three phases, you can multiply this by three. All right, so you will definitely reach that because this is already 22 kilowatts. All you need is 16. So in this case, you're limited by your car's charger. You'll get that 82 kilometers an hour if you have a three phase home using the three phase charger. So that's probably the best way to charge at home using a three phase charger at, at home. If you use a single phase charger in a three phase home, this is the maximum you'll get. That's short of your, almost half of your uh, car's maximum charging rate. Now, there are a couple of other options. Some shopping centers are now equipped with charge point chargers. And this uses the J1772 port. And to use these charge point um, charging stations, which are free by the way, uh, and are located in shopping centers, um, and to sign up is actually free as well. So you might as well sign up and get it. The only downside is that they can only charge at 6.5 kilowatts. And again, in this case, you're not limited by your car's charger because that can charge an 82 kilometers an hour. You're, limit, you're limited by the charger. So 6.5 kilometers an hour times five, uh, sorry, kilowatts times five. Um, kilowatts will get you 33, 33? Yeah, about 33 kilometers an hour of charging. So let's say you go to Westfield, you spend three hours to do shopping, coffee, whatever. In three hours, you'll get about 100 kilometers back. It's pretty good, right? You know, it's free. And you, you know, the car's not doing much anyway. If you had an ice car, that wouldn't be refueling itself. So 100 kilometers, you'll definitely make your journey back and then some. But to use that charge point, you need a 1772 adapter, which I have. So these don't come with your car. You've got to buy these separately. They cost $275 from somewhere like evnomics.com today. I'll put the website in the description so it's easy for you to find. But um, it's pretty straightforward. One end plugs straight into your car. It's got a Tesla charging port. And the second one is where the, um, the shopping center's charge point plug plugs, plugs into. And then you swipe your membership card. Well, these days you can use your phone to do it apparently. And it'll start charging for you. Pretty nifty. It's a little bit slower, but it's free. And you get 33 kilometers an hour of charging. So the charging options for the Tesla with a supercharger, the Char Demo, the next fastest. So supercharger is 120 kilowatts. Char Demo instantly is a pun apparently on uh, a Japanese saying, which which means we should like to go for tea, or or Char Demo ikaga desu ka. Uh, I guess the pun being that well, it takes so long to charge an EV that you might as well have some tea at the same time. But I think the actual term, it comes from charge to move, uh, which is to move to charge, so hence char demo. But you get 50 kilowatts from that, so I'll put how fast it is in brackets. So that potentially is 600, but more likely 400 if you're lucky. Not that quick. This potentially could be 200 kilometers an hour. The next fastest would be a three phase. Uh, high-powered wall charger which is the, the Tesla one the Tesla there in brackets so that will get you your car's max charging rate at 16.5 kilowatts which is 82 kilometers an hour a single phase if you don't have a three-phase home HPWC gets you uh, at 9.6 
kilowatts, which is 45 kilometers an hour. And then the uh, J1772 charge point, the ones that are found in the shopping centers. They're only at six kilowatts and that's 33 km per hour. So a myriad of options, a little bit complicated, but if you understand the terminology, then you can see that you've got a few options here. That's free. Uh, if you had a referral, like my referral, for example, uh, free for Tesla owners with a referral for new Tesla owners. Char demo requires a adapter for the Tesla, which is about $700. I'll just put the price in here. So that's an extra $700 at least. Now, when you buy a new Tesla, you can either get the option of a three phase uh, HPWC or a one phase comes with a car, but you need to pay an electrician sometimes up to a thousand dollars to come to your house to install. So that's not completely free. This cable costs $275, much slower though. But if you're at a shopping center, then not a bad option indeed. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's uh, the basics of charging. I'll put this up for you in case you want to pause and have a look. But um, that's the way I explain things. Please leave a comment if uh, you're still confused or you want some more clarification. I can certainly do another video. We're up to 101 subscribers today. So thank you very much for all your support and for your, all, all your comments and all your feedback. I love hearing from you. We've had some really good discussions on the channel so far. So thank you very much. It's a lovely day here in Sydney. Hopefully it's lovely where you are. And as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching. And thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!